Hello class and welcome to your solution design case study assignments. What I'd like to do is I'd like to do a quick video introduction for you to walk you through what you have to do each module for the case study. So you've got four windows, four different modules that you'll be doing a case study in. Let's go ahead and jump into the instructions. You're going to see I've got a Word document set up for you here with hyperlinks. So you'll be able to come in and it'll give you a description of the type of case studies that we've got identified for you. So we're providing you a series of case studies, eight of them in total, for you to select from. You're responsible for doing one case study a week for each of the four weeks. So we've got entrepreneurial, I'll call it specific case studies, and I've got a PowerPoint set up for you. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and review this file. This file gives you a description of the eight case studies provided and what you need to do. Identify the facts, the most important facts around each of the cases. Identify the key issues. Identify alternate courses of action. Evaluate each course of action and recommend the best course of action for each one of these and it's worth a hundred points. So you have a hundred points each week for four modules or for you know 100 points per module but it's 400 points that's roughly you know 40 percent of your grade is coming out of these case studies 10 percent of your grade each week okay so these are the five areas that you're going to be required to fill out we'll show you how you do that so let's go ahead and jump back I wanted to make sure that you go in and look at that portion of the document. You're going to see that there's two different things I make available for you. One is called a 5Ws template. It's a PowerPoint template. I want you to pull this document up. It shows the 5Ws file exactly. What I want you to do is as you're picking a case study, and remember you can only do this, you, you have to do four separate case studies, one each week. You can't do the same case study for multiple weeks, okay? You find one case study you want to do in module one. Once you've got that identified, you're going to identify for me what happened, who was there, why did it happen, when did it happen, and where did it happen. This is the 5Ws PowerPoint template. This is not deliverable to me. This is part of your work to construct or deconstruct exactly what happened in the, the document. Okay, so what exactly is referenced in that case study? But what you do have to do is then you need to continue that diagnostic. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a case study template for you. You're going to pull this case study template up. And once you're done and you've got your 5Ws information, you're going to have to fill these questions out. And this is what gets submitted to me each module. So module one or week one, you will be responsible for creating one of these and submitting it to me. You will fill out step one. You'll fill out step two, step three, step four, and step five. Okay. One, identify the most important facts surrounding the case. You will need to completely identify for me what you think are the most important facts. Don't write four or five words. Give me a couple paragraphs here to describe exactly what it is surrounding this case. Identify the key issue or issues. There will always be at least one issue. There may be multiple interconnected or connected issues that you're going to run into. Specify an alternative course of action. What are the alternative courses of action? What could they have done differently? What could have helped them if they did it differently? And then look at that, that course of action that you're recommending or courses of action and evaluate each one. Describe for me what would be different. Okay? And then out of that, recommend the best course of action. So you're going to have the course of action that they took or multiple courses of action they, they took. You're going to have your recommended ones. And then you're probably going to create something that's a hybrid as a recommended, uh, when you go to recommend the best course of action. What is it you think is the solution? What is it that they're responsible for doing for you? And remember that you've got four of these that are due, one in each module. 100 points each. You can see that week one, you're responsible for creating one. Week two, week three, week four, and week five. It's a total of 400 points, 40% of your course grade. 
if you don't fully answer each of the questions, you will not get full credit or full points. You can see that there were five steps that we were asking you. Each one of those steps is an opportunity to gain 20 points. Do this as cleanly and clearly as possible. There's a variety of things that we want you to do in this course, but one of them is I need you to be able to look at a situation and do the diagnostic on it. Because as an entrepreneur, it's going to be critical for you to be able to look at situations around you and say, hey, if I was going to do it differently from an entrepreneurial standpoint, what would I have done? Okay? Those are the instructions for you on the case studies. The big things to remember, there are eight of them total. You can pick, you can cherry pick four of them that you want to do. Just make sure you do a different one each week and submit it. Have a great week, and I look forward to seeing your responses in these. We will probably be talking a little bit about this, not only in the live Zoom lectures, but in the discussion activities also. Have a great week, and if you run into any problems, issues, or concerns, feel free to contact me. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.